Welcome back to Dallas Kitchen. Kama kawaida. We've just come back from um, our commercial break. And before we went on commercial break, I had done the first dish that is still in the oven there. Um, okay, so somebody might ask, how long does it take for this dish to... It's only for the egg to cook. Because the fruits are already cooked, the bread is edible without even cooking it again. So all you need to make sure is that... Uh, just make sure that the egg is oh, still, still raw. So it's important that the egg is cooked so that it, it can hold the fruit. It acts as almost like a custard, though it's not a custard, because custard you have to add uh, egg and a cream or something else. But this one, we're just using the egg as a custard itself, as a binder. Uh, the next dish we're going to make is, we make a nice uh, yummy sandwich. So what I have is, I have some jam there. It can be any jam that you want, okay? And I've got cheese, cheese me please. And I've got my butter over there. So let's start with the butter. So um, just roughly, don't be too particular, you know, but don't use too much butter because at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, you know, you'll have problems with the kids and you know, they don't want so much butter. They don't want this and this. Kids are picky, but it's good. And it's good for them to ask questions. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and sort of just lightly fry this, just in case if you don't have, what about, what if, you know, my shows are full of what ifs, eh? so what if your oven doesn't work or your toaster is not there or some, the toaster is broken down, so I use this other method, just go and say, okay, you know what, so that's the case, I'm going to do something else, don't say, nili shiwa, you know, there's no excuses, okay. So, I've already got my first butter. I'm going to add my jam. This is a very hefty jam, actually. Uh, kids love sweet, sweet, sweet things. Uh, not too much, just a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit of jam, you know. So you've got your butter, you've got your jam over there. And then I've got my chicken breasts, which is already cooked. So the other day I, I, I was cooking chicken and I had some leftover and I said, what can I do with chicken? I decided, kids it is. Kids what are cool are you? Okay. Uh, so the pan is already hot. I can switch it off a little bit. You see, nice thin slices, nice thin slices for the kids. Okay. Um, uh, maybe, maybe we could say that this is another version of a kiddie pizza, something of the sort, because you know we've got tomatoes, I've got cheese, I've got jam, so is it, can we call it a kiddie pizza? I don't know, maybe a sweet kiddie pizza or something of the sort. Uh, let's try to call it that way. Okay, today we'll call it a sweet kiddie pizza. Most of the time, some of my dishes I prefer to come up with names when I'm there. I wish I had some kids here with me right now, they would have suggested some names. They are very, very good at that. So always try and ask the kids, what should we call this? Make them part and parcel of the whole process. They love that, okay? Um, tomatoes, should we add tomatoes? Yes, we can add tomatoes. Let's go for tomatoes, maybe just a slice each. This is uh, it's going to be sort of a sweet and sour taste. So you take two of them, put them together, pop, okay, and then you take the third one and you put it on top, pop, okay. So you've got three of them. This is for me. I'm going to eat it. Okay. Let me wash my hands and we do the next bit. The next bit is like I said, if, if you've got a toaster, you don't need to do this. If you're gonna toast it, you just toast the bread and then you go ahead, you put the filling and you slice it. But let's imagine that I don't have a toaster, I don't have an oven. Oven, you're not here for this dish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of this butter, just a little bit butter, just a little bit butter, just a little bit, don't put too much butter. And make sure that you add a little bit of oil. Why? Because if you put butter alone, you are going to burn the butter. So it's important not to use butter alone. Let it cook there. It's, it's like you're making a French toast but without eggs. 
As this one is cooking on one side, let me check if the egg, always keep an eye on what's in the oven. Almost there, almost there. I had reduced, I had reduced the temperature because I wanted to concentrate on this dish. But now I'm almost there. And uh, like I said the last time, I try my level best not to use, not to use something that is scrappy on my non-stick pens. You will spoil your pen. You spend, you spend so much time and then suddenly, ah, look at that. Look at that brown. Uh, mm, that's good. Okay, so we've got a really nice browny thing there. The cheese is melting inside it. Because the egg is cooked. Ah, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. I'm almost burning myself. Okay, you can see that the egg is already cooked. Okay, it's the cameraman, you see that? The egg is cooked. If it wasn't, it would be all over the place again. So let it rest there. I've got my cubes, cucumbers. I've got my cucumbers, I've got my cherry tomatoes. Got my lettuce, so I'll start with the cucumbers. Just lay down your cucumbers. Top there. Throw in some lettuce. I've got some nice lettuce. You can use any lettuce, okay? But just make it such that the kids will go like, "Wow, mommy, mommy, mommy! I want that. I want to do something just like what Chef Abdallah did." You know, you've got your nice kids love things like cherry tomatoes. Oh. oh, oh, and it's holding. So if you want to slice the ends, this is how you slice. You don't do this. If you do this, you put pressure on the bread, then you are cracking the bread and everything. You use your hand and you put it that way, and you just go slowly, get a bread knife, and you go pa, 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 pa. You see, on top it's still nice. Who's driving that motorbike? Is that my motorbike? Somebody's driving. Chef Abdallah doesn't have a motorbike. I haven't reached that stage yet. Okay, now here, again, you don't press it too much. Just handle it with care. Handle it with care. Okay. And then you just go. Okay. Just put one over there. Second one over there. You put the third one over there. Can you see? Can you see all? The, can you see whatever is inside there? The okay. So we've got our nice sandwiches for the kids. No. Just, you don't have to serve everything on a plate. Plate, plate. Invest in you know nice boards. Uh, we go to our next dish, and our next dish was this. Now it's already cooled down. You see. Look at the way it came out. Boop. See, you just flip it because of my, my, my nini. See, and it's holding all the fruits. Okay, so three would be good, and the three would be for somebody else. Okay. I just do that. Okay. I can throw in the strawberries. You can, you can either have the strawberries whole again, and that one again. And I put it somewhere there. Ice cream, all cream for ice cream. Yeah. We got ice cream for kids too. Look at that plate, look at that plate, look at that plate, look at that plate. It's like it's Christmas. Eh? It's like it's Christmas. And I draw it in there. How fast was that? So easy. But you know what? Very, very colorful for the kids. And that's something we should always be making for kids. It should be something that's friendly, kitty friendly, colorful. Don't force the kids to eat something that is bland. Okay, so let me move this way so that I can take the photos before the ice cream melts. Uh, and then you can get this photo on my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter page. Parents, you can follow me on Twitter and then do this. And then you can ask me, what was that, Chef Abdallah? Really? But really? Or the parents normally say, surely. You know, the parents always say, surely. Okay, let, this one, I've taken a nice photo. I'll show it to you just now. Look at this photo. What do you think about this?
professionally done by Chef Abdallah on the Abdallah's Kitchen. Well, you know what? Um, you know where to get me. But if you don't, my Facebook page is Abdallah Masood. My Instagram page is Chef Abdallah Masood. My, I'm a TikToker. Abdallah, without an A at the end, but Abdal Masood too. You'll get me on TikTok and I'll be showing you how to do some of these things on TikTok if you want. And uh, on uh, Twitter page is uh, Proud Kenyan O at Dollar59. So if you can't remember at Dollar59, just write Proud Kenyan. I'm the Proud Kenyan and you'll see me there. Till next time, don't forget to watch this show again. I'll see you next time and I'll do something fancy. It could be pastry, it could be anything, you know. I'm bringing in professional chefs to come and show you something. Not that I'm not a professional, I am, but I want some guests to come in also and show you some of their skills also. So till next time, stay close, stay safe, follow the rules, uh, take care of your kids, and 